in today's video. I'm sitting on the oldest escalator in Indonesia. Good afternoon. After the rain has passed, it's time to bring a short visit to the renewed and reopened Sarina shopping mall. The first mall in Indonesia and the first building in Jakarta with a escalator, with an escalator. Let's cross the street first. There used to be a McDonald's right on the corner here and a KFC over there. Both have gone and have been changed, you know, you'll find out. With apparently something more local. This should attract a younger crowd. But will it? I have my doubts. The Sarina building, the first shopping mall in Indonesia that was also the home of the first escalator in the country, has been around since the 1960s. It was closed down almost two years ago today to undergo a total renovation and rebranding of the Sarina name. The building now is spacious, pedestrian friendly and has easy access to streets on three sides. The owner, the Indonesian government, has decided it should be a nationalist flagship store. So the first McDonald's that was located here for decades has not returned. Also gone are Starbucks, KFC and other well-known and much liked fast food options. There are a lot of local Indonesian brands that are now filling up spaces. But will it last? This is the main entrance where we have the restaurant. Everything is new here so I don't have to really say it. I'm gonna get it. It's not completely finished yet. Has the wooden floor still has to be finished. For the ground floor, I haven't seen an international chain yet. No McDonald's, no Burger King, whatsoever, no Starbucks. Let's see how it is at the second floor. Compared to how this looked just two years ago, this is a tremendous amount of progress they have made. The original building was completely gutted. Uh, only then they started rebuilding. So it gave them a chance to redo a 60-year-old building completely. As far as I can see, they have succeeded in this. The TV crew was desperately looking for a crowd to film. Huge mural-like depiction of Indonesian farmers and those selling fruits. fruits. Even the ramen shop is in the brand name. As well as some kind of about big house. I guess it's a bread shop. This is the gate coffee shop. Are I think it's Indonesian, so it should be better because it's operated by a state-owned pawn shop. Again, that's. Uh, any way of doing business, but if some coffee tastes good, I don't mind.
I am sitting at the oldest escalator in Indonesia. When this building was first constructed in the early 60s, besides it being the first modern shopping mall, it was also the first building in Indonesia to have an escalator. This for sure drew some attention to its opening period, as people flocked to the mall to see what this new thing could do. It's some 60 years later and the escalator now has been retired from active duty. But that doesn't mean you can't use it anymore. It's now located in between two modern escalators that run between the second and third floor of the building, with the retired one in the middle. It does not operate, but it will undoubtedly become a selfie hotspot once the word is out what this old, non-functioning thing actually is. This is one of the few outside areas. Um, not finished yet. I think there's some lights missing though. Okay, so we have a nice bottle, so you can have a coffee here. But also, not yet. Not yet. It's a little bit noisy, but we have a roof where you can make selfies. Okay, there. Small crowd outside and inside, I guess. Once back inside, it's time to have a look what's actually being promoted in the renewed Sarina building. All things Indonesia. This was also the spirit of the original Sarina though. Then President Sukarno visited a number of communist countries in the early 1960s and decided that department stores were needed to reduce the prices for the masses. Nowadays, there's no communism to be seen. But there are a lot of local products from across the entire archipelago on display for premium prices. For that, you get the ease of not having to travel to these destinations yourself and being in a friendly and air conditioned environment for your souvenir hunting.